Hello and welcome to our sessions on financial statements. At the outset, I would like to thank you all for joining this pilot sessions on the financial statements. In this module, the focus is on the introduction of financial statements. But as we move along, those of you who are interested they can also later on get into the other modules. And this module, I'm intentionally concentrating on financial statements to lay the foundation for our future sessions. It is possible that later on when you get into the other modules, you can also come back to this module and understand and recap the financial statements. And this is not as a part of any other course. So you can see this, you can understand the financial statement as a standalone or you can see this as a backdrop for any other course for management accounting or financial accounting. So once again I thank you all for joining this session and I hope that together we will understand accounting and learn from each other. But the let me briefly explain the purpose of uh, the focus of these sessions. The focus of these sessions, today's session particularly, I'll briefly explain what is the coverage of this module 1. I'd like to define the financial accounting for these sessions and also introduce the framework which I'm going to use not only today's session but also throughout this module. The coverage as I mentioned we're going to see the accounting framework. When I say accounting framework so instead of taking you through the rules of recording I'll briefly explain the framework which I'm going to use for the entire module and we are going to discuss the accounting equation. As we move along we'll understand the business decisions and accounting equation. Then we'll get into the financial statements then business decisions and financial statements. Schedule 6 particularly for today in India because of the IFRS the Schedule 6 has been revised, so we'll understand at the later part of our class the revised Schedule 6 and in the process we'll also touch upon the relevant accounting standards of which are affecting the financial statements. For us, not only for this session, for most of my accounting sessions I use financial accounting or define financial accounting as a process of converting business decisions into financial statements. So the focus is not about the recording of the transaction but the focus of a session is to convert the business decisions into financial statements. In other words, the stress is we want to understand the business decisions and we say that the financial statements have the ability to tell us about the business decisions. So therefore financial accounting is a process of converting the business decisions into financial statement. Some of you may argue that most of the accounting books give the definition slightly differently like as a process of recording in a scientific manner, um, classification of the transactions, but I'm not saying that they're wrong but the framework that we are going to use here is a process of converting the business decisions into financial statements. So our focus is on business decisions and the financial statements. So what are these business decisions and what are these financial statements? There are different ways in which business decisions can be classified and understood. But the commonly accepted framework for understanding business decision is a financing decisions, investment decisions 
and operating decision. As we move along, we'll understand more and more about these decisions. Link it with the decisions that you see in your day-to-day -day business operations. You open Economic Times or Financial Express, you see those decisions. So we will try to understand these business decisions in the process of understanding the businesses and its effect on the financial statements. So therefore, we are saying that every business decision will find a place in the financial statement. So the process of converting these business decisions into financial statements is financial accounting. So the process of converting these business decisions into financial statements is financial accounting. But how is that done? That process of converting the business decisions into financial statements can be explained by using the can be explained by using the rules of debits and credits or can be explained by the use by using the framework of accounting equation and we are going to use the framework of accounting equation not the rules of debit and credit so for us the accounting we are going to understand the process of converting the business decisions into financial statements through the framework of accounting equation, not through the rules of debits and credits. Throughout our module, throughout our discussion, we are not going to touch the rules of debits and credits. However, if you have some questions, you can put that on the course kit or send me a mail. I'll be more than glad to answer your questions on the debits and credits too. So what is the process therefore? So the process that we are going to use, we say that every business decision, so let me write down that once again, we say that every business decision, every business decision will involve financial items will involve financial item and every financial item every every financial item will appear in the I'm sorry will appear in the financial statements so business decision financial item and financial statements. So let me write down that once again. So the business decision, financial, so f what are these business decisions? The business decisions are the financing decisions, investment decisions and operating decisions. The financial items are, I'm just going to classify the financial items into five categories, incomes, expenses, assets, liabilities, and equity. All these financial items and equity. As we move along, we will see this classification and understand the definition and these are very clearly defined in the conceptual framework of financial preparation of financial statements and we already seen what are these financial statements the financial statements are the balance sheet balance sheet income statement income statement and cash flow statement. So let me summarize at this juncture. I'm saying that every business decision will involve financial items 
and every best financial item will appear on the financial statement and this process of converting the business decisions into financial statement we are defining it as financial accounting and we are saying that that can be explained through accounting equation so what is this accounting equation accounting equation is a absolutely simple basic relationship of a business that the business can raise resources from different sources and these resources can be in a different forms in other words whenever there is a source or whenever there is an asset whenever there is an asset and that asset should definitely have a source so therefore accounting equation says the sources has to be equal to the assets or assets have to be equal to the source and that is the accounting equation an accounting equation is the foundation for accounting is a foundation for financial statement in today's session i'll just introduce a basic accounting equation then i'd like you to do some account exercise yourself so the sources are as we move along we'll understand capital profits and borrowings and assets can be in any form let us take examples and understand that suppose you start a business with cash so in that case i am the business is getting the cash and there is a source of that called capital if the business is availing a loan i'm going to convert them into equation in a minute if business is availing a loan the business is getting cash and the source of that cash is a loan when the business is purchasing stock for cash cash is going out and there is a conversion of cash into stock or increase in the stock now let us stop here and prepare a small excel exercise so this is the way accounting equation looks like so the sources are equal to assets the first transaction is or a business decision is that you are starting a business with cash so this accounting equation is of the business not of the business person so capital is a source and on this date you have cash how much cash it is 50000 what is the source of this cash is the capital the next business decision is you have taken a loan of 25000 so there is another source called loan so therefore the cash will increase by 25000 no change in the capital and there is another source called loan so if i show that equation the the cash goes up by 25000 and the cash has gone up because you have taken a loan so if you see this the sources are equal to assets 75000 75000 now you are purchasing stock so a new asset comes into picture and that asset is in the form of stock the stock is 45000 but you are purchasing it for cash so cash will come down by 45000 no change in the capital no change in the loan so once again capital sources are equal to assets but you observe here this now you are purchasing once again stock but not for cash but on credit so the stock goes up sorry uh, stock goes up by 50000 no change in the cash no change in the capital no change in the loan but a creditor comes into picture by the name of mr x it's a liability so therefore increase in the stock or increase in asset is due to increase in another source called liability now see this is an interesting how much stock you have now we have 95000 stock we sold entire stock for 150000 for cash so cash goes up by 150000 stock becomes zero because you sold off entire stock 
no change in the capital, no change in the loan, no change in X. But the total of the total of the sources as of now is not same as the asset. Sources is only 125. So where is the balance? The balance is called profit. How much profit you made? 155,000 minus 45,000 minus 50,000. So therefore, your as the that is called the profit. So the 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 business made a profit of 55,000 by selling the goods. At this juncture, the purpose of giving this is this small simple exercise or transaction is to say that every transaction that you pick up you undertake doesn't matter whether it's a small business or a large business they will affect the accounting equation and after every transaction the sources will be equal to the asset that is the purpose of this example so when you purchase the plant or a stock on credit so the asset will increase there is a liability increase if you sell the plant for stock or cash then there will be a decrease in the asset and increase in a cash to summarize we say that whenever we can say that whenever there is a change in the whenever okay accounting equation always sources are equal to assets number 1 and what are the sources we have seen? The sources of a business can be capital, can be loan, can be creditor, can be profit. Okay? Sources can be, sources can be capital, the sources can be capital. Capital is a money contributed by, contributed by the owners. The loans is a money contributed by money contributed by the outsiders or debt holders. Slowly we'll get the vocabulary in place too. And the profit and the profit is a money generated by money generated by the business. No other source. Independent of the fact whether it's a small business or a large business, public sector or a private sector, a domestic or a multinational, every business will have these sources. Capital, profits and the loan. No other source. So the balance sheet or the accounting actually talks about the capital, the loans and the profits and these are called the sources of the business. So if I put that, the sources of the business is a capital, okay, borrowings and the profits. If I put this profits near the capital to make it meaningful because the profit belongs to the shareholder and together the capital plus profits is actually called the owner's fund. And the borrowings and the creditors are called the liabilities. So therefore, the accounting equation can be written like this. The owner's fund is also called equity. Liabilities is the outsider's money is equal to assets. That means the assets of the business can be financed by equity and liabilities. At any point of time, owner's fund or equity is equal to assets minus liability because owner's fund because the owner's fund is a residual claim of the shareholder. Owner's fund owner's fund or equity is a residual claim. Residual claim is means the excess of the assets over the liabilities. I think I'll stop here and we'll observe these financial statements. I'm going to upload this Excel onto the course kit and also put some questions in the form of a transactions 
and I would like you to convert those transactions into accounting equation. As we move along, we'll make these transactions more and more complicated and observe the effect on the accounting equation. I'll also upload a brief note on accounting equation and the certain questions on accounting equations or the transactions which you have to convert that into accounting equation. Thank you very much.